Hi, my name is Danielle, a muralist and decorative painter from Winnipeg, Canada. This project is my parents' home gym. I wanted something that would really resonate with them, but also something vibrant and energetic, something that would help pump them up when they work out. I immediately knew capoeira would be a great fit. For a little bit of background about how my family got involved in capoeira, my sister was super involved in dance and performing arts as a kid, and one of the classes they used to offer for a few years in the evenings was capoeira. The instructor was a newly landed immigrant, and my parents quickly became friends with him. They've helped him to bring his family over and expand his school, and have been close friends ever since. Capoeira itself is super fascinating. It was developed by African slaves in Brazil sometime around the 1700s. It combines elements of acrobatics and dance along with martial arts. Brazilian slaves wanted to learn to fight so that they could escape slavery. It's not like their slavers would allow them to train out in the open. So they hid their training in dance. The blend of African dancing and African fight styles gives it this really unique look. Something that looks very different from Asian and Western martial arts styles. Quite a bit more like breakdancing, which has similar African slave roots. When capoeiristas perform, everyone makes a ring called a hoda, with the instruments at the head. Two players then kneel in front of the drum, shake hands, and start to spar, while everyone around them sings and claps their hands. Everyone takes turns in the hoda, and even the instruments can be traded around. The songs have a ton of cultural significance. Some were sung about historical events, while others are likely written to pass messages between the various slave camps. The entire art form has a bit of a street culture vibe. In some regions, capoeira is still played out in the streets. I really took inspiration from that when designing this mural. My first thought was silhouettes, but that would have completely obscured most of the instruments. It really came together when I added the black lines. They add back just enough detail to be able to easily identify the Berenbau and Atabak. I also really like the nod to Keith Haring they add. Aside from being an activist, he spent quite a bit of time in Brazil, and many of his murals still survive in Bahia and Sao Paulo. Looking back at this project, it was a lot of fun to work on. My day job is mostly painting rooms white, grey, or beige, so painting something with so much story is a really nice change, and I'm thrilled with how it turned out.
if you enjoyed this video, a like would be a huge help. Regardless, I really appreciate you for watching this.